Let's run and play. Looks like I'm ready to go to the game's winner. No, I'm just hanging out, and uh, we're going to do lime toss, and we're going to do volleyball, and we're going to do uh, cardboard box racing, and another bit. Oh, tug of war. Tug of war. Cardboard race, and uh, you can see we have a hidden snowmobile under ours. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna have a chance. I'm looking over at the other pits, and they don't have a, They really don't have it. It's not gonna be much of a race. And uh, let's say we got, I think it's a 440 or something. We can go uphill, downhill. It, it, it'll be good. We'll have a good time. crazy fun events will happen this winter at the Jose Cuervo Games of Winter at a local resort near you. Short bump skis. I need those like I need a hole in my head. Hi, it's Bruce. I'm not in right now. I've declared it a beach day, so leave me a message and I'll call you when I get back. Yeah, hi there, Mr. Benedict. Uh, your bird, or whatever the hell that thing is, has gone down and loose again, and if you don't get a leash on that thing, I'll get my shotgun blow a living sh- Hey, Bruce, this is Hatcher. You know that stupid skull we bought in Taos? That thing's alive. Again, 
Hey, I just got off the phone with Glenn, talking about the opening for this film, and he said something about surfing, but, uh, I'm not too psyched on that. I got whacked pretty good last time I went, so, uh, I don't know, surfing's out, but what do we do when the snow's all gone? What'll we do when the snow's all gone? What'll we do when the snow's all gone? Let's go. Hey, Bruce, it's Plate Con. Hey, I got a great idea for the beginning of this movie. Start out with a real nice headshot of me. Howdy. Hi there. <laughs> this is our movie. <laughs> Snow what? Who cares? It's not an extreme skiing movie. But it does have two extreme skiers in it. Glenn with, with his extreme my mohawk. With no mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mike, uh, let's, let's let's get a hold of Benedict and go shoot some pictures somewhere. Yeah, I heard oh, Taos is happy. We can go down there. Snow what if you jump 50 feet? Snow what if you ski the 55 degree couloir? Yeah, it'd be good, or head on over to Verbier. I mean, Verbier would be hot. Whoa. Yeah, I haven't seen Shapiro and those guys in a while. We don't care about how big the jump is in our film. We don't care about how deep the powder is in our film. Mammoth will be ripping this spring. We'll film there. Oh. You know where else we'd go is down to Oz and see Stevie Lee. Because it really doesn't matter. Yeah, whatever, as long as Bruce is shooting it and we can get off these damn horns.
Captain's up underground down there. Water. <laughs> That's water. That's good water. Return to zap. <laughs> <laughs> like tap water? It's zap water. <laughs> Just look at all this stuff. <laughs> and boots. <laughs> this is great. I'm not the land. I thought Steve was on. This is like my desk. This is just like my desk. Check it out, dude. Look at this paperwork. Spademan plates on it. Right. Dude, the king of the rocket man. Gamma land. Let's go ahead and confirm that Mike is not a scud skier, but a patriot. <laughs> Godzilla bins. Yeah. Mothra. <laughs> and Monster Zero. <laughs> Go get that. <laughs> they don't steal nothing. Mike stole something. <laughs> The ski patrol can be your best friend, especially when they invite you on a bomb run at about 5.30 in the morning. We actually wanted to call this movie Married Mogul Men. <laughs> and, and it ain't too late yet. She's my island's lassie, met her on the hill. I tried to go, but my heart said no, and I know I never will. I went that way on a bright new day to ski and be free in the sun. But a lassie's eye that was blue as the sky said, tell me if you are the one. Oh, she's my Highlands lassie, met her on the hill. I tried to go, but my heart said no, and I know I never will. Well, time stood still on that Highlands hill, but reason and love aren't the same. I'd waited so long that the right from the wrong weren't rules that applied to the game. So together we skied as we raced so free and found what few hearts ever find. A love so real that it made us feel forever together in kind. After our wedding, we had the reception a few miles down the road at Mammoth. 
A man's mountain. The lure of the mammoth snow is strong, and people come from all over North America to ski. The elevation of the lift is 8,600 feet and the summit rises to an impressive 11,150 feet. Whether an expert or just a beginner, there is something for you at Mammoth. Hi, my name is Glenn Plague. Ah, my name is Glenn Plague. Hi, my name is Glenn Plague. When they finally took him down, they had to use three toboggans to carry all the pieces Don't down be fooled by cheap imitation broom heads. He Always insist on the original. Me, Glenn Plague. I know what I'm doing. And now an up-close look at the Pacific forecast. After two weeks of wreaking havoc across the western United States, you can see from our satellite photo, Hurricane Glendola seems to be making its way south towards Australia and New Zealand. And now back to sports with you, John. Look, I can be blue. Special effects. straight didn't see the sun once better have a good attitude or you go nuts
Nothing like landing head first into one of these. <laughs> and I'm gonna give him one of these bucks. Yeah, just kinda goes. <laughs> The river guide said they'd spent seven years trying to find somebody stupid enough to do this. Why would you even aim for the boat? <laughs> Wouldn't it be safer just to head for the water? <laughs> like you said, no brains. Hit <laughs> the bank. Did you, any of you make it in the boat? Or? Yeah. <laughs> What skiers going to play? What skier am I? What what skiers? Oh, what scares me? Taking the garbage out when it's dark. <laughs> I'm all by myself. <laughs> What does your mother think about what what you do, Mike? I think my mom would just soon not know what I do. My uh, favorite southern hemisphere animal isn't really an animal it's a bird a kia bird i would bring about a dozen akias and set them loose in aspen and i guarantee in an hour they'd cause over a million dollars worth of damage and i would laugh my head up and i'd bring them in like homing pigeons come on boys we're going to veil now uh, hey there what the hell are you looking at ain't you never seen no kia bird before <laughs> a regular pet bull with wings that's a die on Get my, my beak under this nail, I'll have the roof off here by summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, like a lamb. Ooh, I love like a lamb. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, hey, don't have with me, buddy. I'll take your arm off. Ooh, like a lamb. Who said don't feed the key? Um, get in there. Hey, get out of here. This is my movie. I'm gone. Get out of here. Keep that beak sharp there. Get a shot of my good side. <laughs> G'day, sappos. Welcome to Australia. What are those funny-looking little skis? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo, Mikey. Yo, break it down, Mikey. Break it down. Break it down, Mikey. This is obviously, you know, after he's had a big night, he just goes through these convulsions. Break it down, Mikey. Come on. No burn mark on the nose there, Bruce. This was from drinking flaming Lamborghinis at the bar the other night. Yo. Yo, you. Yo. Get out of bed. As you can see, we changed the tune of how we're talking to Glenn because he's a nocturnal creature. He uh, doesn't like to uh, get up during the day too early. Yo, get out of bed. Yo, you are listening to me? Uh, the mohawk is weeping. He's not looking too flash at all. Come on. See, now, I'll just, you stand back after you wake him up because arms swing. Come on, get out of bed. Yo, you, get out of bed. <laughs> He's going to hurt me later on. <laughs> Glenn, you have to do an autograph signing and he can't help himself and he'll get straight out of bed. Glenn, you gotta sign an autograph. Yo, wake up. The Mohawk yeah. is in the idle position now. To the hub staff. Good luck in the pub to pub. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. This is the last post you have to sign for a couple of days. Come on. Wish my job was always this easy. Yeah, laying down on the job. <laughs> Do you like my hair? Stuff. Nah, it looks <laughs> Do you want a real answer? It looks fucking pretty. <laughs> oh man, not, not the kryptonite breath. Oh, <laughs> you could kill people with that. Looks like you're going surfing, your hair's going into a bit of a tube. <laughs> surfing, yo, going... yo, yo. Hey. What? <laughs> you can't hurt me. <laughs> Pain is not in my vocabulary. <laughs> Go ahead, lady. When when I grow up, I'm just gonna be exactly like you. Look. Go ahead, lady. And a twisty. You can't hurt me. <laughs> you know who I am? I am a professional athlete. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Yo! Oh, didn't hurt, but a burn. Didn't hurt, you can't hurt me. Oh, oh, break, break it. Oh, down. look, a bruise. <laughs> Break it down, Mikey. <laughs> you can't hurt me. <laughs> Grab his tendon. <laughs> you boys aren't professional athletes, are you? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, hey. Hang on. I'm gonna breathe on him. Ah, I'm out of the breath. He can move me, not the breath. Uh. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hey, you can't hurt me. Looks like I'm ready to go to the game's winner. No, I'm just hanging out, and uh, we're gonna do lime toss, and we're gonna do volleyball, and we're gonna do uh, cardboard box racing, and there's another event. Oh, tug of war. And uh, as you can see, we have a hidden snowmobile under ours. <laughs> That was the longest line I think I've ever waited in. Yeah, these old transatlantic double chairs sure are slow. They should really make this thing a quad. You feel that? Mm, turbulent. Man, I think it's brutal. Why don't they put one of them bars on this flight? Look, there's Verbier. Yeah. What do you think? I've ridden this thing long enough. I'm out of here. Ow! Stay tuned for something extreme.
Coming up, extremely extreme. Oh, good day, mates. I was just hanging out here trying to figure out a few places for you to go skiing. Um, I've been looking up around the uh, Plateau de Trion, and there's a whole lot of cool ways that we could go and get into. Nice and yeah. wide and scary. Yeah, it's really wide. Big friction at the bottom you can get air yeah. over. I fell, I, I fell <laughs> over. Yeah, I fell over the first time I did it. But, uh, Talk, man. Act like you're cool. <laughs> Nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I already said it all. This wall here. You see this wall? <laughs> been in every ski movie ever filmed in Verbier. It's John's house. That's John. That's Ace. This is Colban. They live here. The name of this place is Belle, Belle Uva, <laughs> which means beautiful view or good view. Yeah, As you can see. Belle, Belle Uva. Pardon me? Uh, Be Belle Uva. Uh. Belle Uva. Yeah. There yeah, we go. Patois. That's yeah. what I said. How yeah, much no, to do when the weather is bad? Belle Uva. That's what I said. No, you didn't say it. We'll what have I a said. good time. You should hey, have it's said a nice day today. Hi, Ace. <laughs> Wonderful. Clear. Clear as a bell. Great view here. Buy the fastest clothes you can. Then talk skiing like a man. <laughs> they don't really understand that sort of stuff. Huh? They already understand that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Famous wall. Belle Uva. <laughs> Every idiot ski bomb that's ever been in a ski movie that means good view. talked about himself in front of this wall. <laughs> All right. Faulkner wanted to take us down the back side of Montfort, but we kept getting shut out by the weather. Well, I think it's going to break any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really want, we could wait around for another half an hour, hour or so, but... We'd have to wait around for another day or two. Well, we're going to be here in bed, so that's no problem. So let's go home. I want to go back in and eat Asiete Frites. Finally, one of those days that looked so bad, just out of nowhere, it turned into clear blue skies. Unclear. Who asked you?
Mike, you feel good about doing it? I said no. Would you quit bugging me? <laughs> soon. Okay. 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 Celebrated skier folks and qualified to smirk. I've skied more hills than any man from Frisco to New York. But talking about the skiing I've done is my one and only quirk, especially when I'm standing in the bar. I'll ski any hill that stands, my friends, regardless of the pitch. On any kind of skis at all, I really don't care which. I could ski the cliffs of Dover with nary a bloody hitch. And haven't I often proved it in the bar? I ski straight down the hill, you know, I never need traverse. I ski every style of skiing from the Arlberg to reverse. I'm one of the finest skiers in the whole darn universe, especially when I'm standing in the bar. I've looked for powder skiing all around the world, you know. And when the powder's really deep, I'm first one on the toe. With just my head above the top, that's how I like my snow. And I love to tell about it in the bar. The search for higher mountains has become my lifelong quest. But I found a hill in Asia that I really think is best. So if anyone wants to find me, I'll be just an Everest. As soon as I've had a couple in the bar. Now my song has ended, and I hope you will agree That if you need some pointers, why, you'd better send for me But I'm not worth a damn, you know, till I've emptied two or three Of the very biggest schooners in the bar room The very biggest schooners in the bar room
there's something about skiing above an inversion, knowing that it's cold and gloomy down below and sunny and warm up above. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is attempted by a complete idiot. Yes, we should be in for a real show here today. Uh, we got this guy climbing this mountain, and uh, he says he's going to jump off it. He looks to be having a bit of trouble here. It's not easy going getting up there even. No, and, and uh, he said that a lot of times it's harder to get up than it is to come down, and he's obviously having a hard time getting up there. Yes, he certainly is. Uh, in fact, I don't know if he's actually going to make it up there with both skis or not. Well, he, he's obviously making some progress. Uh, he, I see the he, peak. I he's see the nearing peak. the summit. He should be there. Yeah, oh, I, he's on the summit. Yeah, he's, he's there. He's poking with his pole. I, I've, I've seen what, them do that what, before. Why do they do that? I, I have no idea why they do that. They Checking do, the though. snow, maybe. Maybe so. Maybe so. I'm not sure, but nice view. Nice view up it's there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, wait, he's got his skis off. He's, he's holding them in his hand, and he's walking towards the edge of the rock. He, we've got a report that he's checking the landing. He, oh, my. Uh, oh, he there goes to his see first. how deep the landing is. There goes the first ski. He's, he's throwing the other one, it looks like. Uh, well, how's he going to get down? He's got no skis now. He says he's going to is... jump. He says the landing was chest deep, and that he's going to jump. Uh, oh, my God. Without skis? Oh what an idiot. I mean, why? If, if he completes this jump, this will truly change the sport of ski jumping. He, there he goes. Oh, he did it. It was a deep. deep landing. He really does know what he's doing. Amazing. Oh my. 
Well, look at it. He seems to be celebrating. He's pretty happy about this. He's the first person to do this. Well, you know, they, they have had these other guys that are jumping with skis on for, for no apparent reason. What do, you, what do you need skis for? Look at him. He's got no skis. He made the jump. I'm, and uh, he's, he, he he's looks to be going there now. I mean, he looks <laughs> to be getting a few face shots now. Obviously. I, uh, I, you know, it's the 90s. You don't need skis anymore. Uh, skiing or... or Skiing, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> skiing will now be affordable to the masses. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, look at that. I mean, you just need poles, I guess. God, this is he, ridiculous. He looks to be enjoying himself. Oh, there he goes for another run. I mean, it, it, he's, he's going for it. Pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's really cool, man. I dig it. I like powder days. I think everybody likes powder days. Powder days are something you get to do forever. I prefer to ski a rock hard day, though, because <laughs> it's faster. Powder seems to be slow and kind of, yeah, it's all right. Well, like I said, powder days are all right. Powder days are great. Everybody likes powder days. <laughs> Thank you. 
about 7.30 at night, and we skied down in the dark. It was the perfect end to our trip. Yeah, that's real pretty, Bruce, but the movie ain't ending that way. They called him Super Skier as he sat around the sun deck and he swore that he'd never spill. When they finally took him down, they had to use three toboggans to carry all the pieces down the hill. He was going down that slope, going 90 miles an hour when he caught on edge of his ski. Well, his clothes, they were fast, but the slopes, they were faster. That's the last of Super Skier we shall see. He hollered, what the hell, as he put them parallel. He figured there was nothing else to learn. As he started on his way, he was shouting, on delay, assuming that he'd never have to turn. Well, he was slipping down that slope, going 90 miles an hour, when a mogul flipped him in the air. His jumping form was fine till he ran into a pine and two one-legged skiers left from there. Well, he was going down that slope, going 90 miles an hour when he caught on edge of his ski. Well, his clothes, they were fast, but the slopes, they were faster. That's the last of super skier we shall see. When he left the tree at last, he was skiing twice as fast. Both halves were skimming moguls like a feather. He said, if I must be a split personality, how can I ever keep my knees together? One ski was headed east and the other headed west, cause both of them, you see, were running freer. The folks on Little Nell, they looked up as scared as hell, said, it's a bird, no, it's a plane, it's super skier. Well, he was going down its slope, going 90 miles an hour, when he caught on edge of his ski. Well, his clothes, they were fast, but the slopes, they were faster. That's the last of super skier we shall see. Well, the moral of my story, though my story's kind of gory, is very simple even to a dope. Buy the fastest clothes you can, then talk skiing like a man. But don't let people catch you on the slope. Well, he was going down that slope, going 90 miles an hour, when he caught on edge of his ski. Well, his clothes, they were fast, but the slopes, they were faster. That's the last of Super Skier we shall see. That's the last of Super Skier we shall see. Try to butcher you.
That's it. Bye. <laughs>